Hello, maths fans. Uh, looking at inflation in this little tutorial. Now, inflation is basically when the value of things increase over time. So, like, uh, take a loaf of bread, for example. Let's say it costs $1 today. Well, in five years' time, it might cost $1.40. Slowly, prices rise over time. And when prices rise over time, we call it inflation. And we can calculate inflation uh, in a very similar way that we calculate compound interest, uh, if you've looked at that. So let's look at an example where we want to calculate some inflation. So let's say inflation averages 2.5%. Prices rise by 2.5% each year in this example. Calculate the value of $9,000 indexed for inflation. That's how we describe it uh, when we are adding inflation on and working out what that $9,000 would be like over five years, okay? So if I've got $9,000 today, what would, it, what would its equivalent value be in five years? And if we consider the compound interest formula, this is a basic compound interest formula where we are doing uh, the interest each year. We can steal from that formula for uh, inflation. So here we've got future value uh, equals the present value multiplied by 1 plus r over 100 to the power of n, and n is the number of years. r is our rate, and we can just substitute, basically borrow from that formula, and our rate here is going to be our inflation rate instead of our interest rate, and our present value is going to be the amount that we are indexing. So let's put some numbers in there and we get 9,000 multiplied by 1 plus 2.5 over 100 because I've said 2.5, that is my rate of inflation. The 5 is the number of years, n is the number of years. So we can substitute those numbers in and we get this, $10,182.67. So that $9,000, in five years' time, that'll be the equivalent of $10,182.67. All right. Now, here are three questions for you to try. So I suggest you pause the video now, uh, and I'll go give you some answers in a second. Feel free to rewind, etc. Pause now. Okay, here are some answers for those three questions. First one, we take $7,000, multiply it by 1.04, because we're doing 4% interest. Uh, and there's your answer for that one. I'll let you mark them yourself. Hopefully, you can work those out. Moving on now, we're going to look at the real value of an investment. Now, when you invest money, you get a return on your investment. Uh, interest is earned. And the real value of that needs to take inflation into account. So let's look at this example here. Let's say Alia invested $50,000 in a savings account for 18 years at 5.2% per annum. That PA there, that means uh, per annum, per year. Annum is Latin for year. Uh, and that interest is being compounded monthly now. So every month she earns uh, a little bit of interest. And the inflation for that period averaged 3.5%. So what is the value of Alia's investment after 18 years? This question here is a straightforward compound interest uh, question using the formula. Then the second part says, what is the real value of Alia's investment by indexing for inflation? Let's do the first part. And for that, we're going to need the full compound interest formula, where we bring in this K. And that K is the number of compounding periods per year. So we're going to substitute values in here, into this formula. And when we do that, we're starting with our present value, 50,000, uh, 
and then we're saying 5.2 is the interest rate. Our compounding periods K are 12, and the number of years N is 18. Substitute all those values in, type it in your calculator, and we find out that $50,000 18 years later is now $127,230.56. Great profit, amazing. But that's not the real value of that investment. Because over that period of time, prices rose with inflation at an average of 3.5% uh, inflation per year. So, how do we calculate the real value of that investment? Well, the real value is going to be uh, increasing by 3.5% every year for 18 years. So if this is, this is where I've ended up, I need to kind of work backwards to work out this real value. Because this is the formula for multiplying by, or increasing by 3.5% every year for 18 years. I need to kind of undo this equation by dividing. If something times 1.035 to the power of 18 equals this, to work backwards, I'm going to do this divided by this. And so, I take my value and I divide it by 1.035 to the power of 18. That's my inflation rate as a decimal uh, to the power of the number of years. That's where those values have come from. And when I do that, we find out that actually the real value of Alia's investment was $68,495.99. So not quite as uh, impressive, but still, that was a good investment. That $50,000 did indeed increase uh, by about $18,495.99. Okay, let's just take uh, a second to jot down those examples. And then I'll give one for you to try. So one for you to try is here. So very similar to the previous question. Some different values for you to substitute in and practice. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video now. Have a go at the question. Pause. And here are your answers. There's the first one. There's the second one. All right, hope you've done okay there. Uh, that is inflation. Thanks for watching.